Uh, enter the young princess of the river pride we did see the four younger individuals in the previous episodes we are fairly far south southwest of that region where we did see them uh, it's basically smack bang in between that location and where the Vuela males are hanging about and the Vuela males have been very active in our area and obviously a few episodes ago we saw the young princess being covered in a very funny way by the Vuela male so that was uh, quite extraordinary to observe we didn't expect the young princess of following her story since since she's been a young cub um, that she would end up with a Vuela male so it's adding to the genetic diversity of the area I'll we'll see how this all plays out but she might have conceived and she might have cubs on the way in the next uh, two months or so there's a older lioness over there so that could either be her auntie or her mom one of the original river pride lionesses so there was typically seen seven we saw four sub-adults and now there's two here so who knows if one of the other lionesses sort of synchronized their estrus conditions and may have joined one of the Vuela males well we're not sure but time will definitely give the answers but they did bring down a wildebeest female and sadly the calf was seen in an open area not too far from here a lot of vultures battalier tawny eagles in the area suggested that the guides are going to come have a look and they got lucky with these two now the older lioness of the river pride just briefly lifted up her head now we were hoping that she might look towards us and the rest of the wildlife paparazzi sitting behind me but she ain't budging. We saw that her belly was fairly full, so I'm taking that her at the youngster with her. As you can see there. Gave her a chance to feed first, and now that youngster is gorging on that wildebeest. The ear of movement, keeping the parasites at bay. Flies hovering over the ear there. So the question is, would they return to the four youngsters that we spent time with in the last week or two? Or would they continue and uh, move closer into Vuela territory? Because obviously if you think of those three young river pride males, that's the youngest siblings of the young princess feeding on the carcass behind us. They won't have any place in the territory of Vuela territory. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. They basically fed on about 40 to 50 percent of this wildebeest uh, cow and it is about it is six o'clock in the afternoon I think between two lionesses adult wildebeest maybe they killed it here in the early morning hours thinking here yeah, between six and eight o'clock this morning perhaps it was fairly cool the wind was blowing quite a bit and it was overcast giving them more of an opportunity to hunt by day as well. Immediately responding to the calls of a grey go away bird. Even the other lioness picking up on that cue. Secondary disturbance taking place.
Dankeschön. Responding to distant roars. It's looking into the area where the Vuela males were last as well. We did find their tracks exactly in that direction, probably about a good four to five kilometers from here. And a fairly immediate response from this line is as if she's almost no know, knows that male. Oh, there is a hina that rocked up. That's a kind of a no-brainer. You can see. This lion is keeping a watchful eye. Oh, this lion has felt it's much better to go lay right next to the carcass. They're running off with something at least. There we go. The tail of the poor wildebeest. And gone. Yeah, that roar was quite far away. Mm. And there must have been those Vuela males as well, because they were last seen in that area towards that direction. <laughs> Got manners, eh? He's not uh, taking a wee break at the dinner table. Head off to the restroom. Well done. Copy, thanks for that. It's a good gesture from you. Thanks, Brad. Lots of guinea fowl calling towards where the young princess is looking at. So when guinea fowl starts calling like that, it can either be for a predator on the ground, but it can also be for raptors up in the skies or when sitting in the trees. But they want to have a closer look for any, for in case. get one last glimpse of the face there and then we say our goodbyes almost in that angle Calm greet, head rub there between the two. Not much agnostic behavior at the carcass. Uh, two lionesses is obviously better than one with our hinas approaching and darkness setting in as well. Much rather to not chase each other from the carcass itself. That lioness also had the lion's share as well. As you can see, she's not actively feeding. What a treat to catch up with these two, especially after having two episodes ago of the River Pride Youngsters. So sort of putting the story together. Just uh, hoping that the third lioness is still with us and intact. We do think that she might have gone to one of the Vuela males. Or maybe she went back to go find those sub-adults. But until next time from the Timberwati Game Reserve, this is... Christoph Skuman, 
wherever you find yourself in this world. Stay safe and cheers for now.